Hey guys, this is Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com and today I have the HTC Evo 3D for Sprint. Uh, I've really enjoyed this device. I'm going to share the review with you here. Uh, like I said, I bought this phone for myself. Uh, that was actually a lie. I actually bought it for my fiance uh, and I had to pry it out of her dead cold hands to actually uh, do the review because this phone is a never set it down, never let it out of your sight device because it's just one of the best devices HTC has made so far. So let's get to the review and I'll show you guys what the Evo 3D has to offer. So as you can tell, here's the device itself. We'll go over some of the physical aspects of the device first. First thing you're obviously going to notice is the 4.3 inch QHD display, uh, resolution of 960 by 540. Um, that's a bit bulkier than other devices um, that the HTC has released recently. Obviously that's to fit the uh, dual flash with these dual 5 megapixel cameras in the back for the 3D video capture and 3D photo taking. Uh, now we're going to try to show you that here a little bit later. Um, obviously, it's you know you need you need to see 3D in your own life. Now people said the 3D is a bit gimmicky and it doesn't work. In my own testing, we've determined that people with glasses, people with some type of uh, eye impairment, um, if you only have one eye, uh, literally if you're blind in one eye, uh, the 3D is not going to show up. It's just due to the uh, the way that the 3D technology works on this device. Uh, but obviously the back of this device is taken up by the two dual 5 megapixel cameras and single or dual LED flash. With your 2D to 3D toggle switch, um, it's in 2D right now, you can move it to 3D. Uh, your camera capture key right here, your very large easy to operate volume rocker bar. You have your 3.5 millimeter headset jack and power key and screen unlock key. Micro USB charging port slash uh, HDMI port um, using micro USB to HDMI um, cord adapter, which was not included but can be purchased uh, elsewhere. Your four haptic feedback keys. And then on the back, we're actually going to take this phone apart. Let's see. If, go ahead and do that. Now, opening to the right makes it feel a little flimsy, so when you're taking off the back of your device, try to go to the left, like so, open it up like that. You have a 1730 mAh battery back here. You have an 8 gigabyte micro SD card pre-installed. However, to remove it, if you want to go to a 16 or 32, if you're a, a SIM card swap, or not SIM card, but micro SD card swapper, you will have to remove the battery to remove it. So that's kind of uh, an annoyance, but um, I'm personally, I put a 16 in there and I'm good. You know, if I fill it up, I get rid of the crap I don't need. And it's pretty simple. Now it's not, uh, it's, um, it has a nice, rubberized texture back here. Um, would like to have seen a little bit of an aluminum construction to this, but as it is right now, it weighs six ounces. Now, what's interesting is here in the front, all around the edge, this is all metal. This is all metal right around here in the front. As we can tell, we have uh, weather loading up and it's uh, currently raining. Gives you your weather, little bloop bloop. That's part of the new Sense 3.0 user interface. Bring this up, our carousel with the sense. As we can tell, it's raining in the background. Uh, the phone itself is five inches by 2.6 inches by 0.47 inches thick. Uh, in our testing with battery life, obviously with a big screen and people are saying they're 3D, this phone lasts all day. You full charge all night, take it off the charger at you know seven o'clock in the morning and by six o'clock at night, you know, it's just starting to get down there to where it's like, oh, let me go ahead. And that's, you know, using calls, surfing the web, uh, taking 3D pictures, all sorts of other, um, you, know, you know, heavy data usage things that would normally kill most batteries. But with, you know, the Sense 3.0 user interface in here and power management uh, built in from HTC, it lasts all day. Call quality on here is landline quality, extremely good quality. Um, go ahead and bring up the phone. This is what the phone's gonna look like. You know, you have all your different contacts that are in here. You have your dialer 
or you can enter name or number or tap to see smart dial tips or you can actually say you know hit the voice command and say call Carrie and it's gonna go ahead and call Carrie let's go home uh, the phone is Wi-Fi enabled BG and N um, signal strengths it does have four gigabytes of internal memory inside the device as well um, along with the eight gigabyte card that's pre-installed so a total of 12 it is a 4G device as well, but it's WiMAX, giving it um, theoretical uh, download speeds of just around 10, uh, compared to HSPA Plus, like on the Sensation 4G, at theoretical speeds of 14.4. Um, it is a 4G device, but there are other 4G options out there, so it's good, but if you're not in a 4G area, Sprint's 3G data speeds um, are lackluster. Let's just call it that. Um, however, comparative via service costs, um, Sprint's Unlimited plan is currently the cheapest on the market. So if you're looking to switch as a price point as well, that's something I always like to bring up that Sprint is the cheapest. Um, you know, unlimited de uh, data, text, um, and calls at, you know, with taxes is right around 100 bucks a month. You know, go to any other carrier and it's going to be considerably much more than that. Now, some of the new things about Sense 3.0 that I really enjoy is the quick jump to applications, uh, settings, your phone, like we just brought the phone up, all the different options, you know, playing uh, Apocalypse, Blast Monkeys, we're playing some games on here earlier. And then your quick settings, it's really nice to jump to quick settings instead of having all the different um, widgets on a uh, home screen of some type, you can just drop it down, turn my Wi-Fi on, my hotspot on or off. Um, my 4G on or off, Bluetooth, GPS, etc. And it also is real nice to give you an idea of your total memory. It does have one gig of RAM. Uh, currently we're using 653 megabytes of it and gives me a nice total of 151 megabytes free. And so, I mean, this device has been used very steadily. Uh, that's right there, that little jump right there. That's the carousel action. That's part of the new 3Sense, uh, 3.0 uh, Sense user interface. Now call quality, another thing that's real nice about this that's uh, downloaded, if you tap the home screen twice, if you're on the home screen, you tap the home screen, it brings up uh, quick, uh, jump to tiles, or you can uh, just swipe your fingers real quick and it brings it up. As you can tell, this phone is extremely fast. I've thoroughly enjoyed this device, um, you know, whenever I could get it, basically when my fiance fell asleep and I could get it back from her. Because I'm a good fiance like that, I like to buy her expensive shiny things. Um, so we go ahead and let's just tap into here and now you have your toggle switches like I was talking about before, turn the Wi-Fi on, 4G on, Bluetooth on, GPS on, etc. You know, you have your agenda and all your different things. Very easy to go ahead, add, remove uh, widgets, hold it down, brings up your personalized option. I can add a widget, an application, shortcuts, folders. Go ahead, uh, bring in uh, Angry Birds Rio right here, we'll just drag that in. Go ahead, bring in a widget of some type. Let's see if we can't bring back, um, you know, footprints, calendar. Now let's just bring in the calculator real quick. And you know, you have different calculator options. You know, let's uh, let's give her the red one. And unfortunately, we don't have enough uh, room. Remove that. Hold it down real quick. Widget, calendar, and there you go. Grab it, remove it, pretty simple stuff. Um, probably, obviously you guys are probably asking me to get to this real quick, so we went home here. Let's go ahead and open up the camera. Now we have it switched into the 3D mode. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our trusty camera remote. And let's see if I can, you see that right there? That little, that shimmer, that flex, that's, right in there, the two different screens that are overlapped on top of each other, right there you see, you can just see it right there, the top of the remote is kind of ghosting right there. And that's the two different screens that your eyes are trying to focus on. Now we only have one lens uh, for the camera, so that's what it's seeing. Now, you just hold down, you focus on the item, and it just takes the picture. 
It's pretty nice. Now let's switch over to 2D. Now for five megapixels, you know, we had an eight megapixel camera. We had an eight megapixel camera on the Evo 4G, and now we've gone down to five for dual. But as you can tell with five, very clear, very awesome shots with a five megapixel camera. I have no problems with it whatsoever. Now for video recording options with the camera, we'll switch back to camera here. Uh, there were initial reports that the, um, there were initial, there were initial reports that the camera was going to be able to film in, there you go, it's not in camera mode, there we go, that the camera is going to be able to record in uh, 1080p. Uh, currently right now that's not available, it only records in 720p HD, however it does record in 720p HD in 3D as well. So that's pretty nice. I accidentally hit the camera record key here, go ahead and stop that, we might play that if we want, we'll just trash it. Overall, the camera's very nice. Now, people say that the 3D is a little gimmicky. It's really not. Again, it's just whether or not you have a visual impairment. Um, one, of, uh, one of our writers here wears glasses, and he can't stare at it for more than two seconds without his eyes um, just defocusing and giving him almost a mild headache. Uh, but anybody like myself uh, who doesn't have a, uh, wear glasses, have a, a eye stigma or anything like that, it works out really, really well. Uh, it's very clear and to give you an idea of it's not that the 3d shoots out it's the front of the object is right underneath the screen and then going behind the screen is this world of depth uh, it's a very very nice very high quality and for you know two hundred dollars on two-year contract um, you know it's definitely an extra you know little bonus on top of already having sense 3.0 um, a 1.2 dual core gigahertz processor get out of here um, it's very nice now you saw guys the new lock screen as well where you can just drag this up and unlock well another new thing right here is are your quick jumps where you can go directly to your phone your mail your camera where you just drag it right into the circle now those are four little quick shortcuts for those applications but what if you don't what if you want to change those? Well, it's very simple. You have this lock screen right here. And you have weather, you have your photo album, friend stream, where you can get live updates from, you know, Facebook and Twitter feeds, etc., like that. And now we have weather current. Go ahead and select this. Go ahead and just select a stock one here, actually, because we've already selected that. And we'll hit apply. And And then once you've applied it, you go into your settings and you can go ahead and click uh, like camera. Let's say I like the camera. Let's get rid of phone. I don't really need that. Get rid of that. And it'll allow me to pick a brand new something around in here. Uh, let's say Angry Birds Rio. We'll just put that in here. We'll hit done. Apply. Lock the screen out. We'll bring it back up. And now you can see Angry Birds Rio is right there. So we'll grab that, drag it in, and it'll open up Angry Birds Rio. A very, very fast, like I said, 1.2 dual core gigahertz processor, um, along with the one gigabyte of RAM, brings everything up really quickly. Great sound quality as well. As you can hear, we'll bring that down a little bit. There we go. Tap this, bring this up. Obviously, we're playing a game here, but as you can tell, very, very, very fast. Very fast, very, you know, good quality, very little, no dead pixels, you know, very little pixelation, if any. Um, just really can't say enough about how nice this device really, really is. Let's see if I can't beat this level while we're talking. If I can't. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to beat it. Got one last little monkey right there. Oh, well. 
You know, we tried. That's all there is to it. Overall, the Evo 3D with great sound quality, great battery life, um, all the other little uh, improvements from uh, Sense 2.0 to Sense 3.0 with the quick applications, application memory, the new lock screen, all these little things that help you personalize your device. Like HTC's motto says, make it your own, you know, it's your life, make it your phone, your device, you know, customize it to you. You know, it's a really great mantra for a phone company to have where we see a lot of people coming out with, you know, this is the device, here's a little bit of customization, but you know, this phone is extremely customizable. Again, 3D, really great, but a bit gimmicky. Um, the Green Hornet 3D is on the device. It plays amazing. Um, however, staring at it for 20, 30, 40 minutes, um, different people had different reactions with uh, headaches and things like that. So uh, basically because your eyes are focusing so much, it's, you know, accessing a part of your brain that, you know, hasn't, you know, doesn't get used a lot, let's put it like that. So, you know, as the technology progresses, I think this is just the beginning step um, of where I think you know, phones are going to be going into the future as 3D technology becomes more advanced and more affordable. Um, you know, because, you know, with YouTube coming out with YouTube 3D, 3D television sets as well. I understand that I said uh, at CTIA a very dumb question about 3D TV sets and HTC and Sprint. And, well, I was tired and I'm sorry for that. So, for all those people who know what video I'm talking about, uh, I'm sorry. So, it's basically like that. Overall, Evo 3D, a great device. Check it out today at your local Sprint store. Now it's time for you guys to know something else. Uh, iPad 2, you guys like those? Well, we're giving one away at the end of July. Yeah, we are. Cell Phone Trek's doing that. I want you to go to our Facebook page, at Cell Phone Trek uh, is our Twitter handle, and Facebook.com backslash Cell Phone Trek is on our Facebook page. And if you like us there and enter our sweepstakes, uh, we're giving away a free iPad 2. It's pretty simple. Um, that's basically it. So if you could go there, hit like, spread the word, let us, you know, help us get a little more popular so we can do more great, you know, phone reviews like this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions I didn't answer in the review, hit me up in the comments section below and we'll try to answer you there. But more importantly, uh, do it on the comments, do it on Twitter, 140 characters or less and I'll get back to you lickety split. Um, so basically that's it. Check out some other views, uh, other videos we're going to do on the Evo 3D, we're going to do possibly a, a couple of speed tests, and uh, definitely I feel some comparisons coming, so look for those. Again, thanks for watching, I hope you have yourself a great day.